Section 1 Introduction In this paper, we delve into the different ways large language models, LLMs, generate text for various tasks. For tasks that require open-ended text generation, a method called truncated sampling is typically used. This is because the most probable strings under a model are often short and not very interesting. On the other hand, for tasks that involve reasoning, a method called greedy decoding is usually preferred to avoid the risk of sampling errors. However, this division isn't ideal as it can increase the chances of reasoning errors during open-ended generation. We propose a solution to this problem through the use of contrastive decoding for reasoning tasks with LLMs. Contrastive decoding is a method that searches for strings that maximize a weighted difference in likelihood between a stronger expert model and a weaker amateur model. This method has been shown to outperform existing methods for open-ended text generation by avoiding undesirable modes of the expert model's distributions, such as short or generic strings. We demonstrate that contrastive decoding performs better than greedy decoding on reasoning problems. For instance, on a widely used benchmark consisting of grade school word math problems, contrastive decoding improves the performance of various LAMA models by up to 8 percentage points. This result surpasses LAMA 2, which has 5 billion more parameters and is trained on 40% more data. We also found that contrastive decoding performs less surface-level copying from the prompt than greedy decoding and misses fewer reasoning steps. This suggests that contrastive decoding works by reducing short, repetitive, or other undesirable modes of the model distribution. However, our current method yields mixed results for common-sense reasoning tasks and slightly degrades factual retrieval both trends that encourage further examination and improvement of the method. In summary, we show that contrastive decoding not only substantially improves LLM accuracies on a range of benchmarks, but is also the first-generation algorithm to achieve state-of-the-art results in both reasoning and text generation problems. These results allow a more unified method for improving generation from language models across tasks. In the original contrastive decoding formulation, two parameters are explicitly chosen alpha and the intermediate temperature of the amateur distribution, with the intermediate temperature of the expert fixed at 1. We slightly refactor the hyperparameter choice to be more interpretable and simplify the algorithm by working directly in log it space. In our version, alpha is the same hyperparameter in the original paper, a proportion of the maximum probability assigned by the expert model, with any tokens assigned a lower probability masked out. Beta is a hyperparameter corresponding to the strength of the amateur penalty. We include a letting, 1 plus beta, coefficient to the expert logits to decouple the strength of the contrastive penalty from the expected scale of the output logits, cleanly delineating between the contrastive trade-off from a temperature we use for sampling. Our version of alpha masking has the same interpretation as the original, given that the expert temperature is fixed to 1. If we let the post softmax probability that the expert assigns to a token be represented by p, the valid set is equivalently all tokens j in v, where the probability assigned by the expert to token j is greater than or equal to 1 alpha times the maximum probability assigned by the expert to any token in v further. We can consider the post softmax probabilities produced by contrastive decoding as a perturbation of the probabilities predicted by the expert model. Not including alpha masking, the probability assigned to a token by contrastive decoding can be expressed as a normalized adjustment of the probability assigned by the expert model. From this interpretation, it is also clear that as beta approaches zero the contrastive penalty disappears, and as beta approaches infinity the distribution collapses to the argmax of the ratio of the probabilities assigned by the expert and amateur models, which is the original formulation of contrastive decoding. Section Summary Contrastive Decoding, CD is a method that maximizes the difference in likelihood between a stronger expert model and a weaker amateur model to improve reasoning tasks in language models. CD outperforms greedy decoding and improves the performance of various models on benchmarks like GSM-8K and Hella Swag. It reduces surface-level copying and improves reasoning steps, making it a promising approach for enhancing text generation and reasoning in language models. Section 3.1 Experimental Setup in this section, we'll discuss our experimental setup, hyperparameter selection, and the results we obtained from our arithmetic reasoning, common sense reasoning, and contrastive ranking experiments. To start with, we used models from the LAMA family for our experiments. We didn't tune these models, 
and we used a LAMA 65B model as the expert and a LAMA model with 1.5 billion parameters as the amateur. In one of our studies, we also used models from the Flan T5 family. We set the decoding parameters beta and alpha to 0.5 and 0.1 respectively for all experiments, unless stated otherwise. We used a method called greedy decoding, except for self-consistency experiments where we sampled at a value of 0.7. For generation tasks, we used an 8-shot chain of thought prompting method. We evaluated our models on several datasets. For algebraic word problems, we used Aqua, ASDIV, GSM8K, and SVAMP datasets. We also used the math dataset, which is larger and more challenging. For common sense reasoning, we used the common sense QA and strategy QA datasets. We also used a variety of multiple choice benchmarks, including the AI2 Reasoning Challenge dataset, BoolQ, Hella Swag, MMLU, PIQA, SIQA, and Wino Grande. In terms of hyperparameter selection, we found that the results were not very sensitive to the value of alpha as long as beta was reasonably small. We also found that smaller amateur models performed better. We discovered that a partially trained amateur model performed better than a fully trained one, and that an expert model with poor prompting could be used successfully as an amateur. The optimal value of beta depended on the task but we found that a value of 0.5 worked well for both generation tasks and multiple choice ranking tasks. In our arithmetic reasoning experiments, we found that contrastive decoding generally improved performance. However, it didn't help with the math dataset, which was challenging for both standard and contrastive decoding. We believe this is because contrastive decoding can't improve performance on tasks that are too difficult for the expert model. We also found that contrastive decoding significantly improved the results from self-consistency. In our common sense reasoning experiments, the results were mixed. We found that contrastive decoding reduced performance for smaller models, but this effect was less pronounced for the 65B model and disappeared when using self-consistency. In our contrastive ranking experiments, we used a contrastive objective as a scoring function to rank answers to multiple choice questions. We found that performance was comparable across most tasks, with more significant gains on the Hella Swag and Arc Challenge tasks. Notably, on the Hella Swag task, the LAMA 65B model scored 88.0, outperforming the LLAMA2, GPT 3.5, and POM2 large models. Section Summary In the experimental setup, untuned models from the LAMA family were used with an untuned LAMA 65B as the expert and an untuned LAMA architecture model with 1.5B parameters trained on the same data as the other LAMA models as an amateur. The hyperparameters for decoding, such as beta and alpha, were set to specific values, and eight-shot chain of thought prompting was used for generation tasks. Various datasets were evaluated, including algebraic word problems, common sense reasoning, and multiple choice benchmarks. Contrastive decoding was found to be beneficial for arithmetic reasoning tasks, but less effective for the math dataset. For common sense reasoning, the impact of contrastive decoding varied depending on the model size, but self-consistency improved results. Contrastive ranking was also evaluated, showing comparable performance across most tasks, with notable gains on Hella Swag and Arc Challenge. Section 4.1 Effects of CD We've been studying the effects of contrastive decoding, CD. We've found that while CD struggles with arithmetic, it excels at logical reasoning. To understand this better, we analyzed 100 random examples from the GSM 8K set, comparing the results of greedy decoding and CD greedy decoding. We categorized errors into three types, arithmetic mistakes, missing steps, and semantic misunderstandings. We also added a category for degeneration which is when the model repeats itself excessively. Our analysis showed that CD makes more arithmetic errors, but it compensates for this with better semantic reasoning and fewer missing steps. To further investigate whether CD's benefits come from arithmetic evaluation, we created a small dataset of 10,000 multiplication and subtraction equations with operands up to four digits. We then asked eight-shot prompt models to complete the equations and measured their accuracy. We found that CD didn't improve performance on this task and might even slightly degrade it. 
We also found that CD reduces copying from the prompt. We compared 26,000 generations from CD sampling on GSM 8K with those from temperature sampling. The responses were roughly the same length and followed the few shot template about the same amount of the time. This suggests that CD doesn't just make the model follow the template better, prevent degeneration, or induce longer answers with more reasoning steps. We also tested CD on two factual recall tests, Open Book QA and Trivia QA, which don't use chain of thought reasoning. We found that CD harms factual recall. Despite these findings, we found that CD is more efficient than other reasoning enhancing methods. We estimated that with a 1.5 billion amateur and 65.2 billion expert, CD increases the total number of floating point operations per second, flops, by 3.25%. This is more favorable compared to self consistency, which requires several extra full generation loops. Even chain of thought increases computation drastically. On GSM 8K, responses with chain of thought prompts were on average seven times longer than those without. We also conducted ablation studies to understand the role of alpha masking in CD. We found that alpha masking alone doesn't provide the same benefits as the contrastive objective. We also found that CD requires chain of thought prompting to improve results. We also tested CD on non-LAMA models and found that it can benefit them as well. We used the Flan T5 family for this study and found that CD provides a slight boost in performance. We also experimented with negative prompting, where we used incorrect responses as prompts. We found that contrasting with a negative prompt doesn't harm performance, but it doesn't improve it as much as contrasting with a small amateur. We also found that mid-training checkpoints make for good amateurs. We experimented with checkpoints of a mid-training 7 billion parameter LAMA model taken 10% and 23% of the way through the full training run. We found that a partially trained amateur improves performance. Finally, we found that CD scores are not more effective than perplexity for re-ranking. We tested this by using CD to re-rank 20 generations from temperature sampling on each question from a number of datasets. We found no consistent benefit from ranking by the aggregate or normalized CD scores as opposed to simpler measures like normalized expert perplexity. This suggests that further research is needed to determine the efficacy of better optimizing the contrastive objective in generating text. Section Summary Contrastive decoding, CD, improves logical reasoning but leads to more arithmetic errors compared to greedy decoding. CD reduces copying from the prompt, improves chain of thought reasoning, and outperforms other reasoning enhancements in terms of flop efficiency. Alpha masking alone is not enough to achieve the benefits of CD, and CD requires chain of thought prompting to be effective. CD can benefit models outside of the LAMA family, and weak amateur models are more effective for contrastive decoding than negative prompting. Mid-training checkpoints of a partially trained amateur model can improve performance. However, Optimizing directly for CD scores does not consistently lead to better results compared to simpler measures like perplexity. Section 5 Related Work In this section, we'll discuss related work in the field, focusing on steering methods for reasoning, prompting methods for reasoning, sampling methods, and contrastive generation methods. Starting with steering methods for reasoning, some research has taken a more explicit approach to modeling the error distribution of reasoning steps. This is used to guide the decoding process. For instance, the GRACE model uses a contrastive loss to train an external step-level discriminator. This discriminator is then used to choose between candidate steps that are sampled from a base model. In contrast, our approach doesn't involve training any model on the datasets we evaluate. While some datasets benefit more than others, our method is entirely task-independent. We interpret contrastive decoding as the ability to distinguish between an amateur and an expert. In this context, our method is similar to fudge, where the binary predictor estimates the likelihood that the generated token originates from the expert rather than the amateur. Moving on to prompting methods for reasoning, recent research has aimed to enhance reasoning in language models through various prompting strategies. Our initial exploration of negative prompting falls within this category. We use prompting alone, without the assistance of a separate amateur model, to improve results. We heavily rely on chain of thought prompting and self-consistency in our experiments. Next, let's discuss sampling methods. 
Several decoding methods exist to enhance the quality of outputs from large language models. For open-ended generation, truncated sampling schemes like top case sampling, nucleus sampling, and typical sampling have been shown to reduce repetition compared to greedy decoding and beam search. These methods also produce more coherent outputs than standard temperature sampling. However, sampling can still introduce errors into logical chains. Therefore, greedy decoding is often used to more effectively solve reasoning tasks. To further improve these tasks, temperature sampling is used for self-consistency. Here, K generations are created using temperature sampling, answers are extracted from these generations, and then a simple majority vote is taken to predict the solution. Lastly, we'll touch on contrastive generation methods. The works most similar to ours are D-Experts and the original contrastive decoding work. Our objective can be seen as a special case of D-Experts, where the larger model is used as both an expert and base language model prior. The original contrastive decoding paper uses a uniform base language model prior for the objective, although some semblance of a prior is enforced via expert-based alpha masking. Our paper primarily differentiates itself by demonstrating that training free contrastive decoding can enhance reasoning capability. Meanwhile, the other works focus on reducing toxicity and improving human judgments of open-ended generations.